Hi, this is Larry Beecham with Champion Builder Consulting, and today I want to discuss with you the two approaches, the only two approaches, that actually work on Facebook or YouTube for pitching, promoting, or trying to sell a product, a service, or even an opportunity. If you have ever struggled with trying to sell on those platforms or want to take it to the next level, I'm going to cover that in today's video, so stay tuned. Okay, so there are only two approaches that really work when it comes to pitching, promoting, or selling anything at all on YouTube or Facebook. And if you're like me, you're a business owner, you're probably on both of these websites. So let's quickly run through what it's going to take to be successful. I want to introduce you to a term that I think is pretty cool called social selling. When you're in social media, well, and you're trying to move products and services, you are now participating in social selling. So by definition, social selling is successfully generating sales from targeted prospects or existing customers using social media. So when it comes to social selling, Facebook and YouTube are not created equal. They are very different. The question is, what makes them different? Well, here's the answer to that. First of all, Facebook and its platform is all about engagement. In other words, the primary two reasons why people are on Facebook is communication, like sharing pictures, talking to friends, having fun, you know, taking pictures of their food, you know, uploading vacation photos, quotes, motivational stuff, you name it. Just basically sharing content. It's engagement based. Whereas YouTube is search based. You don't find people doing the things on YouTube that they do on Facebook and vice versa. Well, mainly because those two platforms are designed specifically for the type of connection that I just described. All right. So if you can wrap your mind around that, that is the first step to you being able to successfully sell anything on Facebook or YouTube. So let's talk about how to sell on Facebook specifically. I've got three rules for you that you should follow. Rule number one, never sell directly. Most people might find that shocking to believe that you shouldn't do that. But look, when you put stuff on Facebook like go download this or sign up for my free training, whatever, it rubs against the engagement energy that Facebook has. So just don't sell directly. I'm going to show you how to do it, but never sell directly. Number two, you want to test your target audience. This is a powerful concept if you get it. Most of us have a target audience, but we don't really test that audience to see who within that audience is truly ready for our sales pitch. I'm going to show you how to actually test here in just a moment. And rule number three is you want to backdoor your sales pitch. So let's take a look at this diagram. This is the pathway to selling on Facebook. First of all, let's just deal with your own Facebook page. Update to your status. Well, this is where most of us start. So here's an example of what you would want to do on your status update. So this is basically a, a little teaser message about growing a list. It says, I grew my list to zero to 5,000 less than six months like this. And you got a little link here. Well, now this link takes them off of the Facebook platform and onto your blog or a website where you have value-based content. This is the indirect approach to selling on Facebook because, again, it's an engagement-based site. So now you take them to your blog and you deliver value on your blog. You also now want to, on your blog page, drop in what's called a retargeting cookie. All right. Now, what does that mean? Well, this is how you attach yourself to people. And this is the pre-qualifying your uh, target market process I talked about earlier or testing them. Anybody that responds to your message from your status page and goes to your blog has proven themselves to be more targeted than just your general target audience. So you have a target audience, and then you have a pre-qualified target audience. I'm talking about the pre-qualified target audience. And those individuals who end up on your blog, you want to put what's called a retargeting cookie on their browser, and that's done automatically whenever they come to your actual page. And that's a little technical. If you don't know how to do that, you know uh, I can show you that on another video. But for what it's worth, this is the indirect approach. So they end up on your blog. 
you deposit this little cookie on their website. Now, what happens is this. When you put that cookie on your blog and they come to want to read the uh, article, it's a redirect to an ad that they'll actually see later inside of Facebook that you will purchase. All right. And because the people that are actually see this ads are only those that came to your blog, you have a highly targeted lead now. And of course, you want to lead them over to your lead capture page from the Facebook article, which is where you should have your free offer, which is your what we call a lead magnet. All right. So this is how you sell on Facebook. This is the pathway. Don't violate it. Let's move on to YouTube. So let's talk about how to sell on YouTube. Three rules for selling on YouTube. Number one. Focus on value-based tips, advice, and training, tricks, hacks, that kind of stuff. Number two, create brief training content, five minutes or less. And number three, front door your sales pitch. Let's take a look at the pathway to do that. A little more simplified than Facebook, but the first thing you must realize is that the engagement on YouTube doesn't really exist like it does on Facebook. We're just talking about searching. You go to Facebook to play, have fun, talk to friends, all that, post pictures. You don't do that on YouTube. You go there searching for something. So the first thing is you must come up in the search as an option for people to find you. That's called a keyword. So you want to come up in the search. In this case, I typed in email list, and you see all of the different options that you can pop up in. From there, you want to create your content specific to whichever one of these keywords that you want to target or you want to rank for. But here's a hint, do a video for all of them, <laughs> every last one of them. So once you do your content, where I have circled here, it says click here to download. Well, this is your front end pitch. In other words, once you do your value-based training, five minutes or less, you want to make sure that they have somewhere to go from there. And in this case, they click to download whatever it is that you have. And what is that? It's the same thing as it was on Facebook, leading them to your capture page where they can download your free offer or your lead magnet. So when it comes to Facebook and YouTube marketing, or I should say pitching, selling, and, and promoting something, if you follow these two pathways, you will be successful. So what's your next move? Well, I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. So stay tuned. Well, I have fun sharing that information with you. So your next move is simple. If you're catching this video on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on Facebook, like my fan page, Larry the Champion Builder. And don't forget about my main website, LarryBeecham.com. Go there and follow me and check out my latest trainings, tips. I'm always doing something special. So thank you so much for watching this video. With that being said, go forth in victory. This training is a wrap. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care and God bless.